All right, let's get started. I definitely got something different here for you today. <laughs> this is acrylic paint. I put this on here yesterday just so I can keep my lines and, and whatnot. I got some paint. I just finished the painting. I got some pink left over. And guess what? It's going in the sky. There ain't much of a sky. Actually, it's just right here. It's very, very little sky. This is mostly trees and stuff over here. This is water right here. I do have some um, liquid white in the water and up here. But I got pink left over. I'm going to use it. It looks great in the sky. And that's why I'm putting it up here. There ain't much to this guy. This is, I got some across the top and that's pretty much it. Let's throw some pink in this water here. We're gonna make our water have a little pink in it today. Might as well do it while we're working here. I want the sun to be angled coming down this direction. I want that to be the bright spot coming across. In case you're wondering what I'm doing here. Okay, let's take a little phthalo blue. I hope this is good enough. Before, if I get my brush in that blue, I'll go ahead and scrub this just to make this a little wider than I normally would. Just in case it ain't wide enough. Surely I would think that would be good. Famous last words, right? <laughs> Surely that's good. Well, let's put some phthalo blue here at the top. I'm using a one inch brush for now. I'll mix this up here in a second. I'll just bring this down a little bit. Let's put some in our water. We'll go ahead and do that. I got to be careful with this now. I, gotta, I don't want to take away my pink. Because it's going to be a little dark around the edges. I'll take some Prussian blue here in a second. If we don't, when we get done with this, if we don't like our water, we'll do it a different way. This is going to be some Prussian blue down in here. A little darker here. We'll just see what we can do. If we don't like, like I said, if we don't like it, we'll do something else. Because I may not like it, I don't know. This is the only way to find out if you like some or not. Just try it. Try it if you don't like it. Oh well, you tried. Let me take a just a touch of Prussian blue. I like this top part real dark in that corner. All right, let's get us a bigger brush. Here is my two inch brush, and I think it's got to make sure they're clean boy, before you stick this on here. Let's do some crisscross strokes. I'm going to get up until I'm real close to the blue, which I am. There ain't much sky. And then I'm going to start, I'm going to try to blend a little bit of this down in here. I typically don't do it this way, but how you know if something works if you don't try it? Let's go ahead. Let me just go ahead and do this. Now I want a darker. It's going to be darker, but I want to go ahead and do this phthalo blue first. Maybe I can keep. I'm trying my purposes to try to keep this pink. I found out it's kind of hard to keep it in the water when you're mixing like this, but I ain't worried about it. If we don't like it, we'll change it. Yeah, let's go ahead and get up in here. We're doing the crisscross strokes. That works really well. Like this. Got a spot right there. That don't look bad there. See, we're going to have trees. This is all trees right here. 
Okay, let me think about what we're going to do next. I think we're going to start on these trees. I may finish some of this water here, but trees are next, and I'll be right back. All right, we're going to go ahead. I put a few trees in here just to test it and see how things are going to go. I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and put some darkness over in here. Let's fill all this in with some dark. And hopefully, I got enough dark. <laughs> I'm just going to use some black and green, and we're just going to, I mean, this is, this all needs to be filled in, every bit of it. I'm just going to use the old big brush, or the big brush, when I say big brush, one inch brush. I started with my trees right there, and I thought, eh, I was just testing, just playing around. I thought I could do them like that, and I can. But it probably needs, I need to go ahead and do this first before I go any further. We're just going to throw this in. This is, I have somewhat of a picture to look at. And this is pretty dark back in here because it's closer to us. You know, these are further away. And I'll probably put this in and just wipe it right back off so I can keep painting. It don't have to be perfect. I just want something down here. We're just starting this picture so we don't care about perfect yet. We're just getting color on the canvas is all we're doing. I'm going to use more green even. Just throwing it down. Probably take some Prussian blue since I got it out, throw it down. Just mix it all up. Anything dark. Any kind of dark color you got, throw it in there. There's some alizarin crimson I'll use. Throw it in down here. go. Now I'm going to take a shop towel. This is how you can keep working sometimes and this helps. And I'm just going to wipe all this off, what I just put on there. I'm going to wipe every bit of it right off. And if you're wondering why when you use oil paint it stays wet. See all that I'm getting off? The collar will stay but the oil, you can get some of this oil off real difficult to paint on oil when it's real wet and this is one way you can do one thing you can do to keep painting because I can keep painting over this now if I get this wiped off good enough I can keep right on painting and that's what I want to do I'll get as much done today as I can there's a, little, there's a lot to this picture here more than my normal picture <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to keep working on these trees. I just wanted to show you what I was doing and how to get that oil off. I'm going to keep working on these and bring them on around. And I'll be right back. Well, as you can see, I just put random shrubbery back in here. I'm going to put, I'm going to start making some trees because these are, these are going to be leaf trees. These are closer. These are not leaf trees. These are further back. So I just mixed up a little bit of purple right here. And I am pretty sure, i got to see where my dock is, I'm pretty sure that I am, I just tested, that's what that mark is there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a tree right here. I don't know how big yet, I'm going to put, put these in, I'm just kind of making marks for now. Until I look at a little better later. I won't be able to put the leaves on today because this is soaking wet. But this is going to, there's going to be a lot of trees back in here. Um, probably one here. They're going to get a little bigger as they come toward us. As I said, I'm just putting them in just to see if I like them right now. And we're going to have some probably, you're going to have stuff showing in the back. But for our main trees, we want them probably going to, we'll go ahead and put one right here, sitting back a little bit. That 
one's kind of going to be sitting back. I'll work on the branches more later. Just to get an idea of what we're doing. I'm going to have a pretty good one right here. Pretty big one. I do believe. As of this moment I am. We're going to put one right in here. Just placing them in is all we're doing. See, those are further back, so those are those are fine right there. I think I'm going to have a big one right here. I probably could, probably should. Um, so let's do it. This is going to be a doozy. Let's just, let's just make it a real doozy. Let's bring this down. Let's make this a big doozy I'll have to wipe all this I just put that paint on but this one's gonna come all the way over here that one's gonna be real close but I'll have to wait till tomorrow man this is so wet and I'll finish putting these branches and leaves on I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil down on this I believe I think that's what I might do Put some oil down on it and get that started and get our post put in. In the meantime, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and mark our land out back here a little bit. I like this composition if I can get her turned out the way I want it. Just takes a little work. But as I said, this this composition here is a little different than what I normally do. But that's what keeps you on your toes doing different stuff. If you do the same thing all the time, like I do a lot of mountains, well, I gotta practice other things too. We can go ahead and put our reflections in. This is gonna need reflections. Let's go ahead and do that. These reflections here should probably be pretty dark because the light is over here. So let's just start right here. And they're going to get bigger as we come this way. This will probably all be dark right in here. Black and sap green. Need some more black. I know I got a poster somewhere, I just covered it up. <laughs> I'm almost out of black. I'm going to grab a little Prussian blue and throw it in there. These trees could maybe, I think I might just not bother with them. They could have a reflection. I'll make them a little taller. Don't hurt nothing, I don't guess. Make sure you got them the way you want them. Let's get us a brush. I've got my paper towels here. Let's pull these down. Wipe it off. I like to wipe them off after every pull. Let's, oh, there's a lot of paint on here. I don't want it going all over the place. Now make sure your brush is good and clean before you do this next one here. Uh, let's just go ahead and soften it. That actually has some real good color in that. Look at that. I like that. That's not bad. Careful not if I can get these little spots down here. I think that's good. 
That's good. I should have brought my land down. Let me get me a little brush. I don't think this is the one I was using. I think this is the one I was using. Let's bring our little piece of land down a little bit. That should be in the water also right there. I don't even think I need to. I think I'll just leave it like that. I don't think I need to mess with it anymore. It's, that's pretty good. All right, now I'm going to put some collar down here and I will be back. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. I've been working a little bit. I put some collar on this, put some rocks here. I don't remember where I stopped at. I uh, put some rocks here. I put some grass in here. I don't think I'm going to keep it. Um, I was just playing around just seeing what it would look like. I haven't finished these trees here yet But all I'm doing now is this is the last thing I'm gonna do for a day. I gotta let this dry a little bit I'm just putting Boards in here if that's what you want to call it. Just some I'm just putting collar down Just running some boards across And that's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm just making different collars and seeing how this is going to work out. I'll have to go over this all again, obviously, but um, that's pretty much all I'm doing. But I put this grass back here. I thought, well, maybe I'll make this look like kind of a park. I, I don't know if I like I don't think I like it. I think I'm just going to make it wood, a wooded forest kind of a thing. Don't think I care much for it. If you don't like it, change it, because this is the time to do it. As I've always said, do it while you can. Don't wait till it's dry. But these rocks look okay. I got to make these posts here a little bit bigger. Work on those some. I just want to catch up on what I was doing. So far, I mean, I think I like it. I like the overall painting. I like the composition of it. We just got to go around and make some adjustments fix what we need to fix, just like we always do. I'm not finished with this tree yet. This is my first layer of collar I put on there. I'm trying to do what I can today before I quit, and this is the last thing I'm going to do because everything is just so wet, and especially this area. I mean, I can't, this is wet, but this is really wet, so I certainly can't do nothing up in there. But I'm just going to keep a doing this for a while. The boards are going to get smaller as you go back. i got to start getting ready to adjust for that here any minute. I'll probably take it to right here. I'll do two more boards. Then I'll start making them a little smaller. I'll do this one and one more. And then I'm going to switch. I may even switch brushes. This. I can't keep flat brushes, man. I, I love flat brushes, but I can't keep them. They just, they do not last for me. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong with them. Too rough. That's probably what it is, ain't it? Okay. Just want to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to keep going to the end, and then I'll bring you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. I've been working here a little bit. We're just about ready to wrap it up. I'm going to put a few bushes right here, and I'm going to use some cerulean blue since I bought a big tube of it. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't really 100% of the reason why, sort of, but um, I want some collar in here. I think I'll put one right here. It's okay if we get it on the trees. We'll just fix it. No biggie. This brush might be a little, little too big is what I was going to say, but maybe it's all right. Put three bushes in there. Now let's see if I can find me a nice brush to use. I'm not sure this one will work. It's got so much black in it. We'll try it. Let's just try it and see what happens. Y'all bought a big, big, big tube of cerulean blue the other day. 
So now we've got to use it. That looks good. I'm going to put some white on it, make it pop a little more. It looks great with white. Just one little collar. It's kind of ain't much going on. I mean, it's just green, and which is fine. I like my paintings to be. I try to make them happy. I like happy paintings. To me, happy paintings is a lot of collar. This is actually a lot less collar than I normally use. Mm, that's probably okay. not coming off perfect like I wanted it to but you know not everything is perfect but I, but it's good good enough well folks that looks like a wrap I think it turned out pretty good I really like it I like I like this area right here real well hey guys don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos and thanks for watching